What did you make of what happened inside and you know, the messages that came through from policymakers in Hong Kong and also mainland China? Well, it's great to be back in Hong Kong. It's great to see colleagues from around the world back here in Hong Kong. It's my third visit this year. Um, so Congratulations. Thank you. You made it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Quarantine warrior. And it's, it's good not to be in quarantine this time. And I think that's the story for Hong Kong. Hong Kong is now rebounding. It's coming back out of the COVID problems. There's a very determined uh, attitude from the government here to make sure Hong Kong can rebound, that the economy is open to the international community. And it's important for us, the international community, to actually support Hong Kong on that journey. What do you think has been, for you, the biggest thing that you want to get away from this conference, and HKMA or even the government? What is your immediate request? Well, there's some very clear policy statements this morning from the chief executive on how he and the government and mainland want Hong Kong to be an international financial centre, to remain as that. They've launched a number of policies to try and make sure that Hong Kong remains open to the world. Mm. They've made determined progress on unlocking Hong Kong following COVID uh, since the summer. And it's great to see that progress. More still to come, but it's great to see it. And I think what we now have to do as institutions is support Hong Kong rebound. It's an important international financial center. I have absolute no doubt it will remain as such mm. for the long term. Does it mean more staff from HSBC moving to Hong Kong? We're investing more in Asia, and that's in Hong Kong. Uh, we're continuing to grow our business. I take our trade business this year. It's up over 15% of the half year. Yep. So that's, that's doing well. It was up 15% last year. We're continuing to invest in China, in our wealth business in China. But I'm also investing in Singapore and India. Mm. I still see Asia as a strong platform for growth, connecting Asia to the rest of the world and the rest of the world to Asia. Do you think China just needs to adjust its COVID zero policy just quickly? I mean, it's for governments to determine yeah. their COVID policy. And when I look at China, I look at China over the long term. And I think China will emerge from COVID as every other country in the world has done. It will be important economically to do so. Um, and we'll be ready and willing to help them then rebound their economy. Do you think COVID. that's why we're seeing this, this turmoil in Chinese markets here right now? Is it purely based on what, you know, this whole reopening story or are there other matters too? I think there are, the COVID is a big story because with, with a restriction in movement into and out of China, it's very hard for the international community to reconnect with that economy. But it will rebound and China will open up at some point in time. Um, but I think it is important for the economy, for China eventually, to find a solution to the COVID strategy. But we're still trading well in China. Yeah. Um, our trade into and out of China is up year on year. And we continue to invest in our wealth business. We've got over, increased over 1,300 wealth managers in the Greater Bay Area, mm. focused on tapping into the mass affluent wealth opportunity in China. We've continued to do that during COVID. Can you give us a number in terms of staffing and headcount? How much do you, do you want to see increase? Uh, on that part well, of the we've said that we want to take our wealth managers in China to around 3,000 over the near to medium term. So we're, uh, we're over a third of the way through that. Okay. How are you managing your exposure to the property market in China? Obviously, uh, we did Commercial see your side. provisions yeah, yeah. Uh, increase uh, here in, in your latest earnings. Do, do you foresee a big spike in, in real estate losses in China? At what point does this damage your balance sheet in any way? It's a challenging sector at the moment. Um, it's going through significant policy change. It's going through significant adjustments as a, as a sector. I'm not, I'm not going to understate that. We have provided well. Uh, we believe that it will take some time still before that sector stabilizes. Is. But I'm encouraged by some of the policy changes that have been introduced recently to put liquidity back into that sector domestically, um, to complete the projects that need to be completed. And I'm hoping then that will start to stabilize the sector. But I think, I think it will still take some time before we can see the route out of the current challenges on China uh, commercial real estate. To, to your point, you know, the last two years, every time someone has called a bottom to either the market, and we're not trading, frankly, some of the growth stocks are trading like value stocks, the value stocks are trading mm -hmm. like distressed assets. It seems that the market can seem to find a floor, which I guess is a proxy really of overall confidence in the economy. There now seems to be some uncertainty on what this new economic team mm -hmm. that Xi Jinping might put in place. Do you think everyone is overly pessimistic on China or is there something there? Well, I can speak for myself and I'm still confident of the Chinese economy. It will emerge from COVID. It will stabilize uh, following COVID. Mm -hmm. And there is strong economic growth potential in China. And that's why we continue to invest in it. It's a huge consumption market. It's a consumption market that no one in the world can afford to 
to, to just walk away from, in my view, in, in that it's got a huge opportunity. It's still a very significant supplier to the world as an export market. So I believe in the economic prospects of China going forward. Um, you know, it's gone through its cycles over the last 157 years we've been there. Mm -hmm. It's going through a cycle now. It will emerge from that cycle.